now we gotta talk about Rhinox. Is it fair to say that this is the most hated War for Cybertron toy? Even more than RC, because during the days of War for Cybertron, it was definitely RC, but like nowadays, I hear way more shit being slung at this guy than RC. And I'd say a good 60% of that is the transformation, because so many people have a lot of issues. And yeah, I get it, there definitely are clearance issues with it. And it is one of those where you have to do it in a very specific way, otherwise it just doesn't work. So, because I'm used to transforming it, and I do actually kind of like the transformation, I do like how complex it is, I'm going to try my best to make you understand how to do it. So, if you do like the figure, but you can't really understand the transformation, maybe this will help. The nice thing about this guy is he's made out of slightly flexible plastic. It's not that hard. So that means, despite the clearance issues, there's a very low chance of you actually breaking it. So, that's fairly nice. First thing you're gonna want to do is open this up. Push this down and this will allow you to open this up. Second thing, open up the ass and get these guns out of here. Look how nicely spread out that is. See these have folded inwards so they'll get out of the way and that's definitely gonna help with getting these because this actually is the hardest part of the transformation by a long shot. Just transforming one of the legs, there's not that much clearance, but with the fact that these are pushed inwards and you can open the legs up a little wider, it should help. So first up, you're going to fold this down and you're gonna twist, oh, make sure this plugs in actually, there you go. And you're gonna wanna twist this, but not all the way, just about halfway like that, halfway. Then you're gonna wanna, at the same time, while you're pulling this out, Fold it downwards, like that. There you go, the clearance is all clear. And you are safe to resume normal transformation. I recommend working on this first, so this is already folded away. This will fold up, spin it around. I think it folds, yeah, it folds better this way. Okay, or spins better this way, not fold. Okay, there you go, that's all nice and good. And then you're gonna wanna fold this upwards to get it out of place or pull it that way. So yeah, now it's not plugged in anymore. Swivel it down and bring this in. Plug this, there you go, one leg is done. And normally I skip repeat on the other side, but might as well do it now since it is a different experience. So remember, only fold this out a little bit I think at this point you actually yeah since you have the clearance now you can do this first so this will go in like that this up and rotate this around and slide this and it should be important to note that this has to be folded out in a certain way like if it does this there's a little peg there that will restrict you from slotting this in so make sure this is flat as far as it will go before you slide in the foot then you're gonna pull this leg out, get this out of the way, there you go. If there's clearance issues, just try and holding it up. There is a lot of wiggle room, just enough to get everything to work. So pop this, wiggle it out, and rotate that around, slide this in, and plug that into place. There you go. The legs are finished, and that was easily the hardest part of the transformation. But there's still a couple of other clearance issues, so we'll still go and do this step by step. So you're going to want to pull this outwards and make sure this head is as back as far as you can get it before folding these out. So there is zero clearance issues. These should be in the correct shape. And make sure that this waist is perfectly straight and parallel to this chest so that you can pull it out with very little rubbing and open up the chest plug this back into place and this time it actually plugs in fairly satisfyingly rotate the head around and if you're one of those people who wants to flip this down such as myself you can do that make sure again the head is pointing up as high as it can go and there should be enough clearance to fold it around make sure it's pushed all the way so that it's touching this section so when you bring this down there's Nothing rubbing together. There you go. Take the rest around. Open this up. 
And this is kind of difficult. Make sure that you're holding this upwards as you're flipping it out. There's a little bit of a clearance issue, but it's not, it's, it's not that bad. It's a little obnoxious, but it's not difficult. It's not aggravating. It's not frustrating. So it's relatively minor. Just do the same on the other side. And there you go. We're not gonna unplug this because we're now going to transform this back. So we're gonna start with the arms. In like that. And that, like that. Honestly, closing this back up is <laughs> because the thumb's in the way. There's actually the biggest clearance issue when it comes to this section right here. So I know, kind of lift it, like pull it outwards. Again, this is flexible plastic. You're not going to break anything unless you're too forceful, and it will slide over. There you go. Unfortunately, there are a couple of swirls. Ooh, that would be really bad if this guy has GPS. Let's hope and pray that he doesn't. Hasbro says that they solved this issue, but they also said they solved the yellowing like a couple years ago, and then they released Jaxus in that one Dinobot toy, which proved that they didn't, so fingers crossed. Pretty straightforward right here. You're gonna lift this up. And again, hold this out as far as it'll go while you flip this around. No clearance issues at all. Rotate the head. Open this up again. This has to be parallel to this crotch piece. Put that up. That goes like that. And I guess you can fold this down. Yeah. I also do love how this finishes the silhouette of his body by folding it upwards. That's pretty cool down like that and again keeping this head as high as it'll go this should go in pretty smoothly there you go okay so next let's get to the feet let's take this one step at a time i do believe getting it from rhino to bot is harder than bot to rhino but still sometimes a bit inconsistent because you do have to do it the right way and it's kind of hard to remember so even I can sometimes struggle hopefully I won't do it here so you're just gonna open this up and this is very important this is very important okay first off of course this needs to be pushed down when you're bending this bend this joint do not bend this one because if you bend it you're not gonna have any clearance to fold this out you're gonna want to bend it right there so it folds out no problem that is very, very important. So, activate the pivot, pull it down, and make sure it clicks into place so everything will line up properly when you're done. Clicks into place. And while you're trying to mess with this, make sure that these don't get into places that makes them obnoxious to move back into place. Just keep this clean. Okay, so then you're gonna fold this tail out like that. This will fold down, rotate around, there go. And like I said, keep this clean. Make sure it's lined up properly. You're gonna wanna fold this while pulling this up and make sure this tabs into place. Rotate this in and there you go. One leg's done. Let's do the other. So again, open this up, bend the second joint. This wants to bend more, so I understand if you're having issues because this automatically bends and not this one, so just make sure. Oh, <laughs> make sure that, that one bends. There you go, there you go. Rotate this foot in. Make sure it clicks into place. There you go. And this folds around, puts in place. So that opens up, spin it around. Ah, oh, there's an issue. I didn't keep this clean, but you know. Just, I, I, as long as this doesn't go under here, it shouldn't be that bad. So, get that in place. And just rotate this around. And there you go. Make sure that's all put in. Oh. Okay. Ah, there you go. And before you plug everything in, make sure that this slots into here. Just make sure that there, there's peg holes here. There's two pegs here. Just make sure you plug one in 
again, this is fairly flexible, so it's... The clearance issues aren't really that much of an issue, especially on this one. So, make sure that's plugged in. And then you're going to make sure that this plugs into this one, so it's lined up properly. And with all that in place... Oh, doesn't want to do it. Come on. I mean, as long as it's in here, it's not going anywhere, so just make sure it's lined up properly. Come on. Maybe it's because I have it rotated wrong. That's a strong option. Or a strong possibility. There you go. Now it's lined up. Give this tail a squeeze. Uh, what? Okay. Okay. See? Lined up properly. Symmetrical as hell. Close it up. Plug this into place. And there you go! Not too much trouble. There's a couple of bits, but just make sure it doesn't spiral out of control. And honestly, once you know the transformation, smooth sailing. Now I gotta transform this guy back. Okay. 